Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Your host, well not the most, uh, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. No folks, we're not going to do anhydrous, we need to. But we got the distilled corn up here. Uh, let me... Uh, let me get my stuff up here. Yeah, uh, where's my trigger? Right there it is. I dumped a little bit before that, but I wasn't recording, so here I am. <clears throat> yes, my money is down low than what it was. I can't tell what I get for it. Look at it. Your cows need grass. I know that. But your, your pigs need root crops. Your pigs need corn. Your pigs need protein. Yeah, your pigs need grain. Those are uh, some hungry little fellas. Let me turn my motor off here for a second to go show y'all. And by the way, that's what's distilled corn. Yeah, it was a uh, 423, I believe. Uh, we got some new uh, things right here. We're going to try some strawberries and tomatoes for a special someone. Oh, uh, come on now. Uh, I was going to show you the pigs. The pigs. That's what I'm going to show you. The pigs. Look here. They are full. They're full. They're just a little bit gone. But they're full. The cows are low. The sheep are low. You don't hear them complaining. So I'm the... I don't know why it happened. Uh, now, the animals, the sheep and the pigs ain't showing up. But the cows are. Only thing I took out was a farming tablet mod. Uh, where you can see your animal notifications... Uh, your silo notifications and stuff like that. So I don't know if that done this or, or what, but I, I'm going to sell those 11 pigs so this will disappear. Uh, maybe we can buy some later and it won't do that. I don't know. But yes, I need to give my cows some grass. And uh, I just gave the sheep some, but I did fast forward time a little bit. And I got thinking, whoa, I got to get some money, like quick. So, um, we're going to try our best get to harvesting, uh, and this, uh, episode, uh, might be late, but you will get to see the combine and probably some other things. Uh, I'm trying to think where this truck needs to go. This truck needs to go to the main shop. We got a new gooseneck trailer right here. We're going to take those other two trailers back. Let's get out and look at this real quick. Bring the truck down here. It's got ramps. Uh, these rails on the side goes. Uh, uh, we can get rid of them. Have to go to the, either the dealer or the shop to take them off, but eh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's a lizard. It's part of a uh, fifth wheel convention. They'll make any truck to a fifth wheel. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, it's supposed to have, uh, yeah, it's got straps. I don't know if it's got a, a load, lock load on it or what, but let's see here. We're going to uh, transport. Oh, I got to slow down, sorry. Transport, um, market to main farm. Market to main farm. This little mouse cur cursor right here gets me confused. Anyway, drive course. Stop at the last. Um, that feels ready. I tried to do uh, all the jobs or has quit. Um, let's see here. Our wheat is almost ready to be ready tomorrow. Let's see here. This guy's almost out of fuel. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to drive him there myself. What am, I, what am I talking about? There we go. Let's get three spray in the grass field. Everything's sprayed out, folks. Um, we need a bigger chore tractor. This tractor's just too small. That's all I can say. It's just too small. It needs to be a little bit bigger. Like a Semar. I don't know if a 7R will have the narrow tires. See, we got the narrow tires on this. 
See right there, got the, the skinny, big but skinny tires. They're real skinny. Uh, Care tires is what they're called. Now this tractor is good, but I don't know. I, we just need a bigger one with Care tires on it. And the only thing I know offhand is a new Holland. I don't know if the has got narrow tires or not. All right, you want to see why my money's down low? That's it right there, folks. That's why. All right, we're gonna clean this baby up. We probably gonna end up selling this tractor. Whoa, whoa! I almost ran over the brush washer. Yeah, I did run over it. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut that off right there. Go over here and show y'all this. Is this a regular ba baler? Um, Lorvito, Lorvito, I guess that's what it's called. Um, I should have got the Massey, but I think the Massey didn't have the hitch on the back. I like my lights are still on. Uh, but it this uh, you unfold the baler slides here it ends up getting three i believe and then it scapes it right up on here and i don't know how many it stacks up but it unfolds it we will have to stop every so often but i think it'll be worth it i think you have to stop i'm not for sure uh we got this guy in here we got the big tires on them duels all the way around um I forgot what I was going to do. Uh, oh, pigs. We're going to get rid of that truck. Is our truck there yet? Oh, I hate these loud buttons. Ah, uh, trucks are there. We can go right here. Boo's working the, the sweeper thing. Uh, let me go ahead. Um, there we go. I had it fast forward in time, and it works great for fast forward in time. Um, of course, we won't need it. Oh, I have no other way of getting rid of all that, folks. That I want to sell them out, and we probably need the money anyway. Let's see. Uh, we're going to get three thousand five hundred six dollars. We probably could get five thousand if we just sell them ourselves, but. We're in a hurry, so. Yay, it took it away. We gotta come down here, get the manure and stuff out of here. Well, we're in the trees. Stop, driver. Come on. I gotta close this out before I do it. Okay. Um. I don't know if we got anything left in our silos or not. Um, uh, probably need to haul a little bit more, but we're going to borrow some money, folks. We're going to have to go ahead and get this done. Um, we got to go, yeah, hey, Wool Pallet actually responded. Yay. We need to get our, we got to check this real quick. We got to check these real quick. Oh, oh, come on. All our houses are full, folks. These are extras. One, drop them. Hey, that one stood up. And this one's ready, too. I don't know if I'm going to sell these or get another row of beehives. There we go. We got we got three. We need one more. But this in here, all of them are full. And last episode, y'all saw me where I picked up all these pallets. And yes, folks, you had to save and restart your game to get these boxes to peer back up. If you get too close with the auto load trailer, it will do that. So the best thing to do is come in here with like a skid steer or something. And we'll probably get one for down here. Well, first thing we got to do, we got to get combine. 
Um, I know I'm going to hate to do this. I'm really going to hate to do this. But our bank, we can get a bank loan up to 2.5 million. I just don't know if I want to do it. Okay. We're going to edit loan. That's uh, 100,000. So we're going to take that down. Oh, oops. Got to bring that to one and bring that down. So that is 1 million. To get everything we want, it's going to be 1.3 million, folks, to get everything that I'm needing. So I'm thinking about 1.5 million. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Y'all going to kick me for this. Y'all going to whoop my butt. I'm going to take out $2 million loan. I have a feeling we can pay that back in no time. But what I don't use, I will pay back. Um, take out loan. Here it is. All right. We got... Uh, Life of a loan is 30 days. Okay. 6% per day of uh, whatever that is. So, anyway. Um, we're going to put in some factories over here. We're going to put in some greenhouses. Um, but the, they got it done up to here now. They came back and done a little bit more. Right, let's go ahead and go to, um, I'll tell you what, I don't know how to do this. Um, I don't know if to do it off screen and come back in and tell you about it or do it while you're here. Uh, tell you what, folks, I'm going to cut some of this out and as soon as I get everything placed and stuff, I will be right back, okay? It'll be just a second. And welcome back everybody I had to do some stuff off screen there uh, but we are back and can I say hello Kiki do you love me mm-hmm I'm gonna be riding with you look at this sexy beast y'all that's the John Deere S690 it's got the 35 foot Madon Draper header and we're not going to waste no time. We're going to get in. We're a little laggy. I just started it up. And start this beast up. Let's take a look inside. Uh, got a nice little radio up there. Uh, mirrors don't work, but that's all right. Look at this console, folks. Look at that console. Uh, no IC controls or whatever you want to call them. Um... Was setting off a high up. Um, yeah. Got a great view. So let's, uh, first we gotta get this down just a little there, and we're gonna put it to automatic. So let's fire this baby up. Oh, wait. Duh. Wrong button, Mr. Blue. There we go. Now we're cooking. Is it all the way down? Oh, yeah. That's about, that's about right. Actually, it's a little too low for wheat. I mean, like that real, that real would be lower than that because you just want to cut the tops off of, off of wheat. Make sure we're, uh, uh, okay, straw whip is good, so let's get on up in here and start cutting. I don't know how fast this thing's going to cut, but we like six mile an hour. And 
Yeah, look like we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hire a worker. Uh, I don't know which way that's going to go. Let's put this on. We'll go ahead and keep the AI worker, but I want to. Uh, Yep, we're doing about right. Now what's... Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the ship again. And that just killed it. There we go. Hit OK again. That way we'll see our controls. Uh, I do want to go around a circle. Uh, at least twice. So, uh, AG Baby Girl Val. Hey, that's one of our YouTubers. AG Baby Girl Val is going to be down below in the description, folks. Don't forget it. We're going to get our buggy here following. And uh, now, before I, yeah, I am a little high. I'm kind of in fly mode. We got our 6R with our uh, wind roller, front three four inch wind roller. With our new baler that we purchased, along with uh, this thing here, it catches the bales and stacks them in here, three or fours. So uh, that's going to be good. But uh, y'all going to see what's going over here. I will go ahead and do the whole equipment tour. Uh, we got our case 380 Magnum with the, uh, I can't remember how wide it is, Blue Jet Ripper. We also got a case ripper over that's a little bit wider, along with our 9560RT track tractor. Uh, we got a 7800. Oh, by the way, I got to fill him up. I forgot to fill him up. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is our new tool. is Terra Vista 5201. I think what it is. I believe this thing Ted's too, but it's a wind roller, tether, and loader wagon all in one. And it's got a three point hitch on the back uh, with PTL. So I think you can get an extra trailer and hook to this. That way, when the front one gets full, you can start uh, the back one without even untaching or anything. So that's pretty neat. So we're going to let that fill up. We're going to uh, get it out of here. We gotta get our 8530 down here. Let's get it started up. There we go. Uh, AG Baby Girl Val probably will fill up, let's see, 17% already. And uh, not even to the end yet, it don't look like. So, kind uh, of sorry the harvest took so long. Uh, there you know getting to the harvest um, I got a load of honey I need to take off so I can make some honey milk we'll probably uh, if I'm not mistaken I think the milk we need to go fill the milk up and fill the honey up and then whatever's left of the honey sell it and sell the milk alright um, Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, actually dump before we get going too much further. That's it, AG baby girl, get your pipe out. Oh, you're gonna stop on me. Well, at least we got good, oh my God, we got good clearance. Get one of those big buggies. All right, four thousand liters. Not bad. All right, I'm just gonna hire a worker. Control F. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that to me. Come on, you gotta be able to follow. There we go. 30 meters back behind. And yeah, I didn't want that. Didn't want that. 
Uh, I've been getting a thing that said no more room for pallets. Uh, one thing I can think of is going to be the sheep, so I went ahead and removed the pallet. And our bobcat don't need to be there. Um, come on. Y'all know the last time we got the, uh, the bobcat, well, I brought it down here. Y'all can see we got a shed there, pressure washer inside. Feeling all happy with that, with that new mod, place anywhere mod. But we got some greenhouses and stuff set up. Uh, next episode, we're going to go through that. Um, we're going to try to kick this one off with the harvest. But I want to show you all the honey and stuff I got while I was waiting for the harvest to get ready. Or, well, the crops to get ready. Uh, I'm glad we got this long trailer because it's going to take it here, folks. It is definitely going to take it here. Look at all that honey we got. I'm going to swing around. Make a wide swing here so I'll get straight. Ooh, bees, bees. Glad I got my window up. And we're going to use the bobcat right there. There's the 863 turbo. I'm hung on the trailer. Let's go around this way real quick. And they come back down to earth, don't they? Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, I changed all these out and uh you see that it's down to 3200 well I might well say 3300 and this one here is down to oh it's out of wood now so we're gonna have to get this and some more wood before I make any more and Every two baby girl done a good deal. Look at that. They're going good. And y'all probably wonder why in the world would I go with a 35 foot header instead of a 45 foot. Well folks, this right now, yeah, we, we got big fields. We need a big header. But don't forget, we also got little fields too. So we need one combine with a little header and another combine with a big header. So once we get the loan paid back, we're going to get a bigger combine, which will probably be next harvest or next next season. Um, well, uh, we got some soybeans that's going to be coming off soon. Uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be getting real here pretty soon. When it's going to roll in, we got this honey. We got a lot of honey that we ain't sold yet. Honey milk. Um, these two guys here. Um, I'm really thinking about tearing this ground up right here, folks. And uh, putting down some concrete or asphalt. And getting us some more grain bins set up. And... Yeah, I, I would like to move those over there, over here. So that's one reason why I um, yeah, that's why I'm emptying them out. I had a brain fart there, I couldn't think. But um, see, so we we got three right there, and uh. Thought about taking those three and actually putting them over here and uh, doing it where we can get to them a little bit more easier. Alright, um, we're going to just going to try this real quick. We're going uh, to turn our baler on. Oh, first we need to unfold it. Duh. Okay, as you can see, there's a the tailpiece going out. 
bell just slides off onto the other piece. Let's turn that on. Lower it down. Then we're going to um, operate position. And it extends the boom out. Or the sides there, I should say. And since it's not wide enough yet, we're going to just do it this way. And we should be seeing a bell coming pretty soon. Almost there. And there goes the first bell. You're starting to see it. Puts a new man taking the Browns to the Super Bowl, huh? Heh, <laughs> Sorry, folks. I just had to go there. I, I, I was nasty. I know. I'm sorry. Let's see how many people actually catches that. Old. All right. There's the other bell. Pushing on out. turns and slides okay they're gonna go that way so that's how it's going oh, well, would that be too tall not too tall as in too high but you know TWO tall let's see what's going to happen right here let's go ahead and take this box off that's what it's going to be. It's going to be two of them tall. And I never did see how much that holds. Uh oh, missed somewhere. That's alright. We're going to put our wind roller down. It makes go around. I just want to see what this is actually going to do. See, this is probably going to save us a lot of travel time with our semi truck. Cause we'll probably get be able to get uh, back down to the other end before we drop a bell, you know, a stack of bales. So that'd be pretty good. But I'm mainly uh, gonna be using this for grass. Um, the straw we gotta get some loose straw to take down to one of our factories down there. So we can get it up and running, making us some money. But what it's going to be doing, the one that takes straw, is going to help us in two ways. One, we're going to have manure to spread on our crops. And the other way, it's going to be liquid manure that we can turn into dry fertilizer. I probably could go on around, but I think I'm just going to stop right there oh hope that catches yeah we're gonna get out of combines way so look at it. we got two four six bells right there just on that one through awesome let's see here where's her here's her truck here There's our combine. Yeah, our combine is, uh, is it 60 or 50%? Let's get back in our combine. Let's see here. There we go. I don't know if we'll be able to make it down to the end or not. AG Baby Girl Val is driving this combine real good. And we got Burt's Video 573 behind us, folks. And on Green Buggy. So, Gerald, you've done a good job.
Let's see. We're just about out of time if I figure the math right. So, um, what I'll probably do is let this, uh, let AG Baby Girl Valve run this combine off screen. Oh, no, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit B. Dead gummit. Hey. The name didn't change. Hmm. Huh. Okay, AG Baby Girl Val still driving. You go, girl. You want that machine, don't you? I don't blame her. Oh, look at this sugar beets over here. This is a Birch Video 573. Of course, it's showing a female driving, but it's actually a he. Uh, so that part still ain't fixed. But uh, I did get to fertilize this the extra time. Let's uh, we'll put the grass on. We go to growth and you can see uh, we are ready to cut. So is our grass. Uh, we could let this go to our orange color, to this color here. I don't know if that would actually give us more potential, but I wanted to go ahead and get started because you can see how big this field is, how long it's going to take. And I guarantee you by the time we get done, see this is orange right here. Let me zoom in so you can actually see a different color there. And you see the color difference between this and that. Um, we may have to... Uh, there ain't no way we can rent that combine though because we don't have the money. That's why uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty her out here in a second. And... Uh, Butterfield Barley and barley and canola and our grass fields are ready to harvest so um, I'm not going to worry about I could well I don't have another tractor I could take the AR or the 9RT um, also uh, we got a great demand for our wool I thought about bypassing it but I'm afraid the bank manager will find out about it. You know, we got, uh, I think, two, two and a half or three pallets of wool. You know, that could be quite a bit there. I'm afraid if uh, he finds out we don't sell it, he might get on to us. So, and that, and we need to get our factories going. Um, where Where is it? You can see uh, our beehives are uh, getting pretty good. Honey milk and all that's kind of good. Oh, I ain't showed you the stack of beehives. I don't think. Uh, cow's going to need some food probably in the morning. Oh, waiting on the dew to dry off. Um, yeah, so that's uh, our status. Let's see. Uh, she's 84%. Let's go ahead and uh, get her unloaded before she gets in the, the ditch area there. I need she to handle it till we get over to our land. Be alright, but maybe we won't destroy too much sugar beets. Alright, baby girl, go ahead and get your pipe out. Oh, we're destroying them. She's going to stop anyway, so. Maybe that we won't lose too much reputation with the, uh, the 
other guy that owned this field can you see I most definitely destroyed the tops Ooh, not good folks but take a look you know it's late in the day but take a look tomorrow Sunday it's raining again <sighs> But anyway, um, what I'll probably do is, eh, don't really need, well, I guess we need to go another round. So I say I'm going to do the next, rest of this round and the next round off screen and might go a couple uh, rounds over on that side off screen and when we'll come back next episode we'll uh, be doing more harvest and uh, I'm going to get the bees loaded up let me see here uh, I didn't show you I showed y'all everything y'all might have seen this when I passed by but look here folks they're all beehives. That's just uh, over just speeding up time and stuff to try to get to the harvest. And uh, that's how we got all these here too. So I'm going to get these loaded on trailer. I think our last strap is yeah right there. So there should be a strap here too when it ramps or fold it up like that so you get your advantage but uh anyway we're gonna get these loaded up we might double stack some just so we can have room for a skid steer here so uh anyway folks i'm sorry it wasn't very much to the harvest uh when we come back next episode we'll be doing a lot more so um hope y'all return and see that which will be tomorrow if nothing happens there we go yeah slide on down baby there you go and uh, i won't be loading these up so uh i hope y'all enjoyed it um don't forget to go down below in the description Check out the other YouTubers, folks, and uh, also um, I have a GoFundMe and a PayPal account down there if you want to help support my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, the GoFundMe account is for me to raise money for a computer. Um, I know I put $2,500 for a computer, but it's not really that much for one. Uh, it's about $1,800 though for real just for the hard drive part you know the the tire part um i want to get a good gaming computer so we can get rid of this lag and really get our our channel uh where it's enjoyable and y'all you know, can actually see what i'm doing uh well you can see what i'm doing but you know what i mean without lag without interruptions uh, I've been getting a blue screen so uh, I'm gonna probably insert that right now all right what do you think about that that's what I've been getting I don't do it all the time it's but oh I went under I went under gotta raise up a little bit I get about every uh, five or six times I start the game that crashes and shows that message. I know it's probably a virus and I don't have no antivirus on this because I ain't been able to afford it. Uh, and that's one reason why, you know, supporting my channel will help out and stuff. Help me out by getting antivirus and stuff like that. Um, especially I get the other computer, you know, I do want to keep antivirus on it. 
I'm gonna have to slide them with the other pallets there. But anyway, folks, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, we'll talk about the GoFundMe and PayPal account later. I might do a, a live stream or something on it. Uh, like a Q&A fund me type live stream so uh, anyway folks I gotta get off here so appreciate all your love and support I right, get it up higher and I love each and every one of y'all y'all have a great day a blessed day and I will see y'all tomorrow look at all this sweet honey